I know the world. I know the world how it works. When I dated that girl for four years, even though we had disagreements about a lot of things, after we broke up, the truth of the matter is I always have to think about it because she got me here. She was the one that said, let's go to L.A. Mm. L.A., you know, I had a deal with CBS. She's like, this, this is a good move for you. I'll go down there and strip, whatever the fuck. But it was really weird that I learned the whole other world of the strip club. Like, I learned, like, I thought you just went into a strip club, got a dance, and you went home. And then she was telling me, no, 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 no. You got to text these motherfuckers. Yeah. And tell them I'm dancing tonight at nine, bring $200, and you have 20 of them on rotation. She was telling me stories that were, they made me feel bad because she was kind of, she was doing something that I had done years earlier, which was deceit people in a way. like Outside of the club? Outside. Inside the club. Inside, okay. You know, it was very deceitful. It was, mm. uh, you know, how you doing, baby? I really care about you. What's going on? You talk to them. You saw their soft spot. You saw the vulnerability, and you attack them. You know what I'm saying? So let's say you work Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays days. You have different guys that come in on those days. They're expecting this... Uh, you know, it's like my mom had a bar, and she wouldn't let bartenders tell the customers that they had boyfriends. The first time I see your boyfriend at the bar, you're fired. Yeah. I want them to have an image that they always have a chance of winning you over. Once a guy finds out you got a boyfriend, there's no end. That's it. I'm not going to get with her. Even though some guys are turned down by that, that's the other package. You could say to them, I got a boyfriend, win me over, bitch. Some some my, guys, my that, that drives yeah. them. That I actually them. tell some yeah. guys, I'm like, yo, I got a boyfriend. Boom, and what does then, he do? And I'm like, so I'm not going to text you on the weekend. You want to see me? You come to the strip club and we do what we do. Then you go back to your life and then you just, you know, cut. and they're okay with that. At least they could get some. I've had guys be like, can I be the side guy? Like the side, side, <laughs> side chick in a sense. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> but it's the belief that, yeah, you and I are going to get married and have kids. Run off into and the have sunset. And have the fun run off into the sunset. And you have to keep that dream alive. And it takes them like nine weeks to realize that you're taking them for everything when you don't show up at Denny's for the ninth time. Oh Meet me at Denny's. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like this fucking... Especially when you have a traffic jam yeah. and you got one guy coming in when you're still dealing with another guy and then they're like, wait, hold on. You know, I'm paying for full attention. And I'm like, yo, but my, <laughs> my eight o'clock's here. <laughs> so it's... He showed up late. Yeah, but sometimes, I mean, you know, it's really funny, but you just keep going and, and half of the time, they always come back. They try to act like it never happened and what we can bring back. It's so ridiculous. It really was. But what? you play around. You're like, oh, yeah, did I really hurt your Listen, feelings? Man, if there's well, you want to know something? You should be coming earlier with more money and then, you know, I Don, can cancel these. Suckers, Don. And it's weird because they either just got out of a relationship, there's mm, a problem. It's all kinds of problems. If you ain't paying me and you want to tell me about your problem, hell no. If you pay me, then, you know, I'll listen to you and, and whatever. But it's just like, are you fucking serious? Like, I am <clears throat> I live a great life and I'm happy. I'm not pouring my problems onto you. So it's like, you want me, do you want to bore, you want to kill my sunshine with your dep depression in a sense, you know, like, say that for your girlfriend. Otherwise, pay me some racks and... Yo, I'll take your problems and we'll fucking have a great ass time. You won't even remember what you were whining about. Let me ask you this. You ever been dancing you see a guy that you look at and go, I can fall in love with this guy? <sighs> have you ever had that? I mean, it's not like have you, you seen might a guy think that it. He's twice dirty. And then he, you know, man. you see him, you observe him with the other girls, and then you observe him how he is with you. But they always fucking shoot their own foot. Like, they kill that moment. And it, you, no, no. <laughs> they need to stay a customer.
If it's two in the afternoon and you ain't high, go fuck yourself. Get out of my face. I want you around me like I want cancer in my ball sack. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come around here looking at me with your fucking white eyes. Thinking that, you know, I'm going re to reform. Go fuck yourself. My morning starts at 5.30 a.m. Either you're there or you're square. You know what I'm saying?